All right, so now that you have your Django project started and you have it in Komodo Edit, it's important to note that you use Terminal to get your Django project started. You do not use Komodo Edit. Sometimes that comes up as you think that that's where you start your project. It's not. Always use Terminal or basically your command prompt, um, either one, depending on what computer you're using, of course. And We've already looked at the settings file a little bit. I'm going to go over some more about it right now. The secret key, you do not want to give this out to anybody. Um, of course, you see mine, but this is not actually going to be the key I'm going to use when I go into production or basically when I go live with it. Um, I'll kind of explain the differences later. So debug. So debug means that if there's any errors or anything like that, it's going to show up in your browser. Template debug, same type of thing. Um, a lot of people change this to just being uh, a default is being true for both of them. So a lot of people do that. I'm going to leave it as that for now. Allowed hosts is going to be when you bring it live and you turn debug to false. Um, you're going to do whatever your site is. So coding for entrepreneurs.com. Um, you actually don't need the HTTP and you just do it like that. So this would be for every um, version of it and even without the subdomains, you could do it like that too. So you'd want it working over there. And that's essentially giving extra security to make sure that your project only works on whatever domain you specify there or domains you specify there in a list. Okay. Now installed apps, we are gonna be working with this a lot, so I'm gonna skip it for now, but notice those of you who are new to 1.6, Django Admin is already installed, it comes installed. So let's take a look at what Django Admin is. This is a very powerful app that you will use a lot. And Django Admin, to get there, you just do slash admin. And you might be wondering, how did we get this as admin? And if you go into your urls.py file, this is kind of where it is. Like this is how you can change it. So we can call this ABC. And if we go back here and do a refresh, we got this page not found. Um, and that is a 404 error. Remember how we had the template debug settings? That's what this is. This is a, a, an error. If you turn this to false, um, it's not gonna show that. Right, it just it shows nothing. Um, and that's because it helps us kind of figure out what problems are going on. So keep that in mind when we go forward. All right, so going back to this, um, there we go. And we have our page not found, but we want it to be under admin. And that's kind of what URLs do, does. If you change this, it's gonna change what that specific URL is and how it's handled. You don't have to understand that completely yet. Um, you'll see it more as we go through and actually build things, but notice that I changed that to admin and then that to admin. It was, it's the same thing. So admin ABC or whatever, I can just put up a bunch of stuff here. And if I paste it in, it, it goes to the admin. Kind of cool, kind of simple, pretty easy to do, um, but it's, it's definitely an important feature of Django. Now, the Django administration is also a very important feature. This one's really cool. We'll be using this a lot as well. Um, the username and password, you're gonna use the same one that you did when you created it. So when we created the project and we did a sync DB, uh, it asked you to make a super user and we said yes. And then we set that username and password. This is what you're gonna be using to get in there. So you log in. It's not a whole lot in here right now. Uh, for those of you who have used 1.5, you'll notice that the sites application or sites administration is not there any longer. Um, so it's nice and clean now. Users, you can go ahead and add users in here. And you notice that my user is in there. So if I click in here, I can already kind of manipulate some data and put my name in. I can change my status. I can add groups. If I had groups, I could add them. I can change my user permissions and I can see when the last login was and all that. Uh, kind of cool, it's a built-in Django function so you don't actually have to do a whole lot there. Um, and yeah, so that's the Django admin. That's understanding a little bit about the URLs 
And now we are gonna make our first application. Uh, since this is MVP landing, we're gonna make an application called joined. Um, so like somebody joined it, or we can call it signups. So why don't we do that? Let's call it signups. We'll cancel this out, hit control C. So make sure you're the root of the project where manage.py is. We'll do a Python manage.py start app, and we're gonna call this sign ups, one word. So sign ups, and there it is. It automatically created this new folder for us, and Komodo Edit recognizes that it was created. Um, you notice that there's these admin.py, there's models, don't worry so much about tests right now, and then there's views. So admin models and views, those are the three things that we're gonna be using a lot. In it, you do not have to worry about that. In it is basically saying, hey, Python, this folder here, there's Python files in there. So recognize it as Python. That's it. Um, there are other things that in it will do, but again, don't worry about it now. It's more of a complicated subject that doesn't really apply to us at this point. Um, but before we can really make this app useful, we need to make models. So models are a way to store, or at least tell your database what data to store. So it kind of controls the data, if you will. It's a, more or less a solid state type of thing, meaning you're not gonna change it a whole lot um, because once you sync the database, it's like kind of engraving it in stone. Changing it is a lot harder to do than just typing. And, but models at the same time are very important when it comes to actually creating everything and doing everything in Django. Okay, so models will be using a lot. And then admin will take those models and register them into the Django admin. You'll understand what that means when we do it, um, but this is how you're gonna basically put those models into a, a usable form like, like how this user's one is let's uh, run the server one more time so this is basically taking the model of users or user and putting it into the django admin that's a default thing that already happens so that's what that file does and views views is also very important and this is kind of going to give us what our website is going to look like so when you go to any specific url it's going to say what should be seen, and that's how Views does it. So if you see this, this is kind of going into uh, admin's own site URLs and then the views within that. So here's an example of a, UR a view as well. Um, we will get into this a lot, but I just kind of wanted to give you an overview as to what all these app and these files are going to do. So. Um, that's enough for now. In the next one, we'll actually make our models and our views and do some admin stuff too. So we will see you in the next one.